Sagittarius, welcome to your reading. My name is Vince, this is 7D Tarot. Today I'm gonna to pull your money and career energy, your love energy, I'll see who's coming and going, and if there's any travel on the horizon. Now, if you have a certain amount of money you'd like to manifest, or if you have a specific person in mind, you go ahead and like this video and subscribe. And if you are interested in scheduling your own personal reading with me, all the info you need is in the description box below. Now, for a totally fresh perspective, you can check out my wife's channel over at Empath Tarot, and stay tuned till the end of your reading while we'll pull a final message from source using your animal spirit. All right, so let's dive right in. See what we got going on for you. A little bit of drifting's going on. In fact, you got the moon, eight of cups. You're being told there's a little bit of drifting happening. This could be from some sort of trauma, even a childhood trauma, past relationship. And this is causing you to get further away from your inner being. Now, the closer you get your inner being, the better you feel. So I got a three-step process. Source is telling you this will change your life. It's super easy. Right now, all you gotta do is visualize, believe, receive. Visualize, believe, receive. If you feel like you're drifting, if you feel like you're waiting, wishing, wanting, hoping, needing, that is all lack. That does not carry the thought of abundance. You will do the same thing, get the same results. So now, change that up for the easiest three-step process. It has to be in the synchronicity, but it's the easiest thing in the world. Visualize, believe, receive. I'll give you an example. Say if I want to meet my soulmate. So right now, I would visualize it. Now, visualizing is essential. You cannot be like, spirit, you know best. No, no, no. Imagine Santa Claus, right? You write your, your Christmas list and you give it to Santa. Santa wants to know what you want, not what Santa wants to bring you. Same thing here. The universe, because of free will, wants to know what do you want, right? So right now, what I would do is I would visualize someone, blonde hair, blue eyes, brunette, whatever, this tall, this torch, uh, short, works at this company, they have this pet, this dog, this cat, they have this many children, they're divorced, maybe not, I run into them at the coffee shop, great, boom, done. That is the visualization right there. Step number two, believing. You have to believe. Now, how do you believe? You have to feel as if you're already with them or you already have it. So for example, I'd close my eyes and be like, wow, feel so good to be in their energy. They make me feel so safe. Oh my goodness, so romantic. I feel so hot and tingly around them. Boom. Number three, you have to receive. This is so, so important. Guys, unless you are receiving, it's never going to come. What does this really mean? Receiving means do the first two steps and then set it and forget it. Take your thoughts, put it somewhere else. When you order a pizza, what do you do? Hi there, bring me the pizza. Love you, bye, click. Then what do you do? Do something else. You're not calling back like, where's my pizza, right? Or for example, you order something off Amazon, you press buy, then what? You're not refreshing the page, right? So you're not, you shouldn't be like, where are they, where's my soulmate? When are they coming? Why are they not here? That is the reason it hasn't happened yet. You have to set it and forget it. It's not a, it's not a, it's not by minute by minute, right? It works though, right? So right now when you do this, you can expect all that wishing, wanting, hoping, needing to go out the window and you will be commanding, assuming, expecting. Now look at this. The moment you start listening to this, love, money, health, it's all entangled. Your love life is going to get so much better. Source is telling you right now, positive vibes attract positive lives. Positive vibes attract positive lives. That's it. Your positive vibrations attract in this attraction-based universe, positive lives. You wanna meet someone funny, charming, positive, you have to be that person first. This isn't hard work, it's the easiest thing you'll do ever in your life. It is hard doing something out of alignment. Like I'll give you an example. Breathe in, breathe out. Ah, Easy, hold your breath. Not so easy. Why? Because it was out of alignment with you. So you being disgruntled, unhappy, and sad is actually out of alignment with you. It takes more energy to do that than to be positive. Now, why is it hard being positive? Because of influence and brainwashing of the matrix years and years and years on constantly. Watch the news, right? Turn on the news. You're going to be scared of your life thinking the world's going to end. Is that really what's happening? See what I'm saying? So right now, source is telling you positive vibes attract positive lives. Control your vibrations. Now, speaking of vibrations, look at this. Ace of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles. You are meant to live a rich and abundant life. You are meant to go travel. You're meant to buy whatever you want. You're meant to tip as much percentage as you want to people. You're supposed to be making yourself rich and making other people rich. And right now, Source is telling you, your mind state determines your destiny. Focus on what you want to expand. So your mind state determines your destiny. The only thing that's preventing this energy from flowing right now is a money block. That money block can get cleared. You gotta understand, the only thing that separates people are their habits and their mind state, right? That is it. For example, you have Jill and Jane. Jill wakes up at 5 a.m., great habit. Jane wakes up at 5 p.m., maybe not so good. Which one's gonna be successful? You have Bob and Bill. Bob likes to think positive, great. Bill likes to think negative, not so good. Which one's gonna be successful? 
habits and mind state. That's it. That's the only thing that different sets people apart. Doesn't matter where you are, what kind of head start you got. If you're white, you're black. Doesn't mean anything. It reminds me, I have so many friends that some came from poverty. I came from nothing, guys. My, my family came here. We had a paper route. Like we were broke refugees. And right now life is good. So you got to understand it does not matter. It really doesn't matter. All right, you got the three of cups and the three of wands, the two threes, right? That's a synchronicity letting you know there are third parties either indirectly or directly going to be entering your life and creating change. On top of that, here's another three, three of pentacles. So you have, again, third parties that want to help you, guide you, teach you, mentor you, show you the path of what to do. And all you have to do in order for this energy to resonate is understand that your thoughts today will shape your reality tomorrow. Your thoughts today will change the tomorrow. If you are trying to change tomorrow, you can't do it tomorrow. Your thoughts today create that. So if you have the same thoughts as yesterday, you will get the same results. But if you have new thoughts, and the only way to have new thoughts is only one way, have new ideas. New thoughts, you need new ideas. For example, when I go in the shower in the morning, I'm constantly trying to think of new ideas. Not, you know, how do I pay my bills? The same thought as yesterday. Great, we already did that rerun of that scary fear-based fear movie. We know. Now, let's think of new ideas. New ideas. What do I want to do 10 years from now? You know, what if I tried this in my diet? Anything, anything new that I didn't think of yesterday is going to open up a lot of new ideas. And then the third parties will pick up on that energy. You'll feel so confident and don't want to help you. Now, you also got the Eight of Swords and the Five of Cups. So resistance, right? When you resist anything, you resist everything. Right now you're being told there's some sort of resistance because you keep breathing life into something that you don't want to manifest. So you're thinking of something going wrong rather than something going right. Or you're thinking of someone that doesn't treat you well opposed to someone who does. So right now you got to understand that it, like a balloon, when you think of something, you're just expanding that. Imagine breathing in a balloon, bigger and bigger. So that little problem, breathe in, breathe in, breathe in. All of a sudden it gets to a big problem. So you got to stop doing that. So right now I'm going to show you how to clear this energy if you have any sort of energy blocks in your life, money block, love block, energy block, health block, anything this works for, I want you to write down the following affirmation. Affirmation just means effortless attention. Write this down in the comment section. Super easy, right? Write down the following affirmation. Let's get some money in your life. It's going to be a money affirmation today. Write down money flows to me easily. Money flows to me easily. That's it. What you're doing is that at this point, you're becoming the cause and effect. You're taking your power back and you're letting the universe know, I am ready for money. You're not waiting for a cause and effect. You became the cause and effect. Money flows to me easily. Write that down in the comment section. Now, look at this. Look at what awaits you. By clearing your energy, look what you are attracting. Now you are a magnet. Now your thoughts are the keys to the doors of success. Now your thoughts are literally the keys to the doors of your success. You're going to feel so confident that you got to understand that your energy is your business card. Your energy is how you, you don't even need to speak if you have energy, right? People want to naturally gravitate towards you. So right now you got to understand that your... The keys to your success all start from your confidence. Your confidence happens when you get the ball rolling. That's why right now, money flows to me easily. Seems like such an easy thing to do, but guess what? You're getting the ball rolling. The wind beneath your wings is source, but in order for source to be the wind within your, within your wings, you have to take the leap of faith and jump out of the nest, right? And that's what you're literally doing here. So focus on that, Sag, and good things are coming. Now, I am going to pull your animal spirit and get a final message from source. Let's see what your animal spirit is. I love me a good animal spirit. I got to tell you, it's my favorite. Who doesn't love it? Is it going to be elephant spirit? Is it going to be elephant spirit? Let's find out. That was my animal spirit this morning. And right now, yours is turtle spirit. Love this. Look at the message. Slow and steady wins the race. Slow and steady wins the race. There is no rush. If you are here and you're trying to get here and you feel like you did a whole lot of this and you're still here, it's called a divine detour. You didn't waste time. It was necessary. Slow and steady wins the race. I'll give you an example. A lot of times people are like, I should have been here by now. No, you shouldn't have. You were meant to do a whole lot of this to know what I want, what I don't want, what works, what doesn't, what to do the same, what to do different, what I would change, right? This is what happens. This right here is priceless. You can't put a price tag on this. This is super necessary. So for example, you dated someone, it's been a year, you guys broke up. You didn't waste time. You know when their smoke just fired out. Or when you start a business, it didn't work out. Great, now you know what overhead is. Now your next venture is going to blossom. But you gotta understand that slow and steady wins the race. You're getting the heads up right now. Don't feel like you're missing out. Don't feel like shoulda, woulda, coulda. None of that ever, ever, ever think I shoulda, woulda, coulda. And that right there is, is bonkers, right? No one wants you thinking like that, especially source. And right now, understand that everything is happening for you, not to you. 
All right, Sag, I hope you enjoyed your reading. Hope there was a message in here for you. If there was, like this video and subscribe. I truly appreciate you. Till next time, follow your passion.